The Cannabis Industrial Hemp Control and Licensing Bill has sparked division within society. The government of Belize and the opposition both appear to be in support of legalizing marijuana in Belize for recreational use. But the medical community holds some reservations, while the church has categorically objected the move. Karim Musa, the Minister of New Growth Industry, reasons that legalizing marijuana will decrease gang-related murders in Belize City. All of these gang-related murders, they all stem from this very plant. And so we have to find a way to include these young men in a very uh, responsible and safe system. So they have to be a part of the system in terms of dealing. But at the same time, we have to understand that is the root cause. Yes, mm -hmm. there may be a continuation in terms of retaliations. But when you look at it, all of the illegal drugs, again, we don't know what is in these drugs coming mm -hmm. across the border but they also come along with illegal firearms. Mm -hmm. And that is something that we have to curtail. And again, that is something we're trying to fix. If we produce local marijuana for these young men to sell, then they won't have to buy and dodge the police and come in illegally with this foreign marijuana, which we don't know what is in there. Moses Shine Barrow, the leader of the opposition, gave his support for the bill in 2021. This is one of the times that I agree with the government. I applaud the government for taking such a bold step uh, towards uh, removing uh, the criminality of cannabis consumption uh, and cannabis uh, trade, uh, which has the criminalization of uh, cannabis has impacted the poor and lower class uh, for generations. So I applaud uh, the government, uh, Minister, uh, Karim Musa for taking such a bold step that will not only reverse uh, generations of discrimination and classism, but also help to boost uh, our economy uh, because the economic ramifications of the legalization of cannabis are tremendous. The Belize Medical and Dental Association believes that Belizeans need more education on the use of marijuana for medical and recreational purposes. We took this to our membership and we did a national survey with our physicians. The findings were interesting, three key points that were interesting. Less than 25% of our physician um, membership agrees that marijuana should be legalized for leisurely purpose. Approximately 75% of our membership agrees that in the future, there is a place for marijuana from a medicinal perspective, if we have the proper regulation and the proper information on board for that. And then there is the Council of Churches and the National Evangelical Association, who strongly oppose the legalization of cannabis for recreational purposes. We see some serious red flags, especially for young people. We see some dangerous red flags for the nation in general, because what we are noticing is that countries around us, there are several Caribbean countries, that are into marijuana, but they do not have the type of situation as Belize has with some big countries, with cartels, with big gangs that can easily come into our space. Gangs and people who do business of any sort always want to make more profit. So it will induce and it will invite others to come in for a piece of the pie. And we think that could be sending us on the wrong avenue. With these varying positions on the issue, the church is calling for a referendum so that the nation can decide by majority vote. And in an interesting turn of events, the opposition party today came out in support of holding that referendum on the issue. The government of Belize has not issued an official position on the call for a referendum. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.